Hello, welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at why floating point numbers are so inaccurate. Well, they're not always inaccurate. They're basically, sometimes when we're doing calculations with floating point numbers, we see some inaccuracies, all right? Now, <clears throat> I don't want to say they're not a big deal because it can be a big deal, um, but I also want to say that there's ways to work with them and if you're a smart programmer uh, you probably won't even notice that it exists all right so <clears throat> basically why are floating point numbers inaccurate is because when working in Python we're working with decimal fractions which is base 10 um, now when we send that data down to our memory in our computer that takes a binary fraction which is base 2 all right, and the calculations between uh, a decimal fraction and a binary fraction is a little bit off. All right, they're not exact. All right, so we get returned some funny numbers sometimes. Now, <clears throat> like I said, uh, I don't want you to focus on why it's happening. All right, it just happens. All right, the big thing is, can you work with them? So this tutorial, I'm going to show you the inaccuracies. The next two tutorials, I'm going to show you how to fix those inaccuracies, and hopefully you will never think of this again. All right, so let's go ahead and do A is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. All right, you would think this is going to return 0 0.3. Call A, we get 0 0.3, crap load of zeros, and then 4. All right, so that's a little off. I was not expecting that. Now, if we're, you know, trying to... Uh, get the trajectory of the space shuttle going to Mars or something that might be a problem because that little bit there might send it to Jupiter we might not have uh, enough supplies for that so that could be an issue right there um, <clears throat> so it's something you know you got to think about when you're working with the numbers is you know as long as I know how to fix them I shouldn't be too concerned all right uh, they're not always inaccurate so we can say B is uh, equal to 0 0.2 plus uh, 0 0.5 and we'll call B and 0 0.7 that's pretty accurate because 2 plus 5 is 7 that's what I was expecting right um, uh, here's another example of the inaccuracies say um, if a number say John over there hey John if we return if we don't return um, three here I'm gonna uh, point three here I'm gonna go ahead and give you a million dollars now let's do 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is equal equal to 0 0.3 so hey we just said to John that we're gonna give him a million dollars if this number doesn't come back equal to 0 0.3 I hit return uh, it's false it didn't come back now I gotta give John a million dollars see that could be a problem so like I said there is some inaccuracies all right but there's ways to fix them and there's ways to work around them so in the next two tutorials we'll take a look at the round building function which is good in some it's good I should say and then uh, it's not always perfect and then uh, also the uh, decimal uh, module which will really uh, set things on track for us. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.